Hey everybody and welcome to some Let's Stream the Guild 2 Renaissance with your host as always Madrybred. You might know me from my tutorial series on the Guild 2 Renaissance. Um, I am, it's still ongoing, I swear. I've just had a lot of stuff going on in my personal life really slowing things down due to financial problems. The tutorial series is still going and I do still plan on doing a multiplayer playthrough of this game at some point with three other friends. Um, that's just, it's, it kind of depends on when we can match up all of our schedules, so it might not happen super soon. My goal of this stream, and I'm going to make this an ongoing multi-stream playthrough, is to become a Norwegian crime lord. That is going to be my goal. I have never gone, like, world takeover amounts of rich uh, being a rogue in this game, mostly because I've never played that long as a rogue. Um, I've never played more than a certain period of time into it, like a few generations. So I thought that uh, this would be an ongoing series then, because so many people seem to be finding those guild videos and enjoying them. And often people ask me to do the guild stuff, which I'm honestly surprised about. This is on a um, on a newer patch of the game that just recently came out. If you follow the guild game on Facebook, they give you updates there. Uh, you have to put in like a special beta code or something like that, like an opt-in beta on Steam if you want the newest, newest bug fixed versions so just so you know that's a thing you can do uh, and they have instructions for it over on their facebook page i believe um so if i'm gonna be a rogue i think i want to wear black because it's the coolest things are falling destiny i'm going to assume that's destiny life giving water natural the odds uh we're gonna do one year per round because i want this to be an epic we're going to be starting in the Hansa because it's being brought back into the game during the um, the beta patch stuff. They took it out for a little while because they thought thought it was too broken. They rebalanced it and put it back in the game. It's good that it's being rebalanced. I'm going to start in Bergen, which is in Norway so far as I understand. I, I believe this would be the border of Norway um, back in the time, back in the Renaissance. Pretty sure it still is, actually. Uh, and we're going to do 12 dynasties. Uh, just standard difficulty right in the middle. And I'm happy with how I look. Now, I have kind of an idea of where I want to go with this, so I don't actually want to start with any stealth points. Um, I don't, I'm not going to need those early on. Instead, I would probably prefer having a little bit of rhetoric and charisma. So we're going to take some of the, both of those, and we have a little bit of points left which I might just honestly want to hang on to, because I would only need 25 more to get another point in Constitution. So I'm going to leave it like this for now. You'll notice that the game volume is very, very low. That's just so that uh, TuneCore doesn't try and claim that they own this this video when they don't, um, because they all the music that was licensed for this game was later picked up by a company called TuneCore who likes to harass YouTubers. They've done it to me in the past. They're the same ones who tried to claim they own my voice once. They tried to claim that my voice is a rap song. Uh, so they're scumbags, and I'm not going to deal with them. And a uh, good way to not deal with them is to have the music very low. All right, so I've put the game speed so low that it might as well be paused. It calls it pause. It's not actually. And we're going to start with a pub. And this one thing that this update actually did is it kind of broke the scrolling a little bit. It made it really finicky. Oh god, I forgot how small this place is. Okay, it fits there. That's probably the only spot. Also, you'll notice that when I hover around the map like this with the arrow keys, it changes speeds a lot. It looks like it's warping. That's a problem with this new update. It's annoying and it looks bad, but... The rest of it, like, there are a lot of bug fixes that really make this worth it. So let's bring this back up to normal speed. Um, this game is... tends to be a little bit slow. Bergen is still a Norwegian town, good to know. This game is um, a little bit slow, so I'm going to have a lot of time to read the chat, so that's going to be fun. You're right, I am the best rapper. So, I will remind you, this is the most bug-fixed upgrade. Um, one of the specific things they said they fixed in the upgrade is carts running in circles. Looks like people running in circles was not fixed. For five I'm just gonna... There we go. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of gumption. 
So we're gonna do our usual opening thing. Get a building going being offered at a good price as soon as possible. And run straight to the assembly hall or town hall, whatever it is you have in wherever it is you live. And Victory immediately now. purchase a title with some of our starting cash. A new building Notorious a new MDB. A new title of I like all the uh, rapper names dispatch, coming up in the chat. You of the OG MDB. Alright, uh, so we don't need to Where be in here uh, anymore. We can go straight to our pub. It's called the Honest Soul, which I'd like to rename. Let's go ahead and take one of our... Oh, right, they, they don't... Oh, great. The person auto-hired hired for me has a sprained ankle. Uh, we need to hire a bunch of prostitutes. So we're just going to do their vanity upgrade so that more people want to hire them, as well as our upgrade to be able to hire more of them. What's the plan? All right, then. Where shall I attack? And we're just going to assign them around the town to solicit we'll their services. And we're going to have our character sweep the pub because it gives you absolutely broken Can amounts of experience. So he'll serve out. guests and get us money. We have our new privileges now as a yeoman, which means we can own two businesses. So if we're going to own a big crime syndicate, I find that there are two ways you can do it. Uh, let's get a gambling table and uh, Grimbergen. Uh, it's just so that people can come here and gamble so I can win some money and also increase the attractiveness of my pub so people are more likely to come here. So um, there are two main ways you can approach. You can either do the high risk, high reward way, which is right away get a robber camp and start waylaying trader outs. You're likely going to be, you're going to want to get your um, your rhetoric very high because you're going to be taken to court a lot because you're basically a, a, you're a brigand or at least the leader of a brigand camp. So you're very overtly doing crimes. There's also the safe way, which is to start with a smuggler's hole or pub. A pub does prostitution and like gambling, smuggling of illegal alcohols, stuff like that, which is not necessarily illegal. Like the, you can't get caught smuggling alcohol, like illegal alcohols. So no risk of anything there. Prostitution is not even illegal. Uh, so in general, I don't think there's anything you can do at a pub that can get you arrested. And a smuggler's hole starts with low-level crimes like pickpocketing, which is very, very hard to get extra actually held against you unless you personally go out and do the pickpocketing and get caught. Your thieves will sometimes get beaten up by the city guards, sometimes die, but for those part, they make you a lot more money than they cost to hire. And um, with dealing with um, pickpocketing... I tend to like getting a pub first, which is more stable income, and then getting a smuggler hole later, because as you pick the pockets of other dynasties, the money you get from each pickpocket depends on the total money that they have, which means if you do it later in the game when the dynasties have built up more money, you're more likely going to steal larger and larger amounts of money. If there's some obscenely wealthy family going around with a lot of family members, so you end up pickpocketing them often, you might up getting, end up getting incredibly rich because of it. So we're going to start with a pub just to make things very safe. I want to start getting pubs in every single city in the world to expand our crime lords, start getting a or our crime syndicate, start getting smugglers' holes everywhere, and start to upgrade to burglary, pickpocketing, stuff like that. Should be good. Hey, Mara Pink. Speed up the game a little bit. So, uh, people aren't really in here very much right now because it's nighttime, but if we hit the C button, we can see that we've gained some experience very, very quickly. Uh, part of that due to our sweeping and our serving of guests, and part of that due to getting a new rank. We're going to get another level of rhetoric and charisma, so we gained a level 2, and I'd like mentor, so my employees level up and gain skill faster. Because um, people in the crime business tend to die easily, because, you know, it's a dangerous job, you're doing illegal stuff, mentor's an especially good ability, because then they can become better and less likely to die faster. Which is good, because, um, you know, the weaker they are, the more likely they are to die, and the less likely they are to become strong at any point. So the faster you can rush them through that weak point at the beginning, the better. Yep, yeah, pickpockets can kind of end up being cannon fodder, because they'll often get caught by the city guards, and if they don't get away in time, they're never going to win a fight with the city guards. What would the name of the crime syndicate be? I don't know, chat? 
Give me some ideas. But we need to come up with a name for the pub, and I'm very tempted to call it, and I will call it until I think of something better, America's Pub. All right, that should be... I believe that would be that. Uh, America's Pub, which is of course referencing Mostly Walking, which is of course referencing Day 9. I watch Mostly Walking every week. Day 9's fucking awesome. And Sean Bouchard and Bill Graner. And plus, uh, fun with Bill, Bill Grainer spawned the greatest parody account of all time. Pun with Bill. The Viking Syndicate. Eh. Murka's Pub. Eh. Uh, on Twitter, I'm MC Ruler, and I was tweeting with my dry bread earlier. Yes, you were. I remember you. I told you to get Twitter. I'm responsible for you getting Twitter. I'm pretty much the coolest guy. Alright. Um... I'm actually going to recall Where's the wrong? All right, then. one of the girls back All into right. here to All right, serve then. guests. Let it be so. Because uh, we need to go get a wife. And I like to get a wife on year one. So, uh, you are an unemployed rogue, 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 rogue. What choices we have? Okay, um... You're the one, because you are the one who is closest, Victory physically. Is She's the correct one, right? Yes. Alright. I think my guy was skiing for a second there. Man, I can't wait for Guild 3. Guild 2 is great, but it's really janky. <laughs> like, if you're, if you're wondering about that, like, stuttering in the game, that's not my computer not being able to handle it, or your stream, or your recording on YouTube, or anything. Um, that's how the game runs. It just runs that way. Uh, it doesn't matter how good your your computer is. A courtship has begun. What is it? All right, we're now what dating. So I'm going to show you a really good way to marry fast if you didn't see my tutorial. So you compliment them once, then ask to go out with them. They'll say yes. Then you tell them to follow you. And now? And now we play the waiting game. She'll follow me for about two hours, and we're just going to stand here for two hours, which is how long it takes to uh, be able to do another compliment of some kind. And now we're going to hug her. Oh. Lamest hug ever. Now eh, prostitution's not illegal in this game. Hey, prostitution isn't illegal in a lot of places. Prostitution's never been illegal in Canada. Just brothels are illegal. So we're just gonna wait until she tries to walk away. she not even going to try to? Oh, wow, I've never had that happen before. Oh, no, there she goes. And then you yell at her from your menu, and she comes back. And if you keep doing this, she'll never actually go home, <laughs> which means there's nothing to stop you from continually doing this until she'll marry you. My blade is sharp. I love this game. Now we just keep waiting. She'll keep standing here drinking. Neither of us are even really looking at each other that much. And she actually didn't walk away that time. Give her a Let kiss. Ah, so. oh, great. I think she just got sick during the conversation. Victory is, ours. is she? She has a cold. Okay, that's not too bad. I was hoping she didn't have the plague or anything. Dating advice with MDB. A special offer in accounting house has expired. This is how I got engaged. <laughs> I gave her a compliment, said, will you go out with me? Court she said center. yes, and then every time she tried to walk away, I said, hey, follow me. And then she just stood and stared at me for two hours. I give her a lame hug and then stand there for two hours, Court compliment her hair. Prices in accounting house. Court this is real life, guys. Changed. Real life just has a really bad frame rate. All right, one more, uh, one more hug will do it. No, you're not allowed to go home. Court sentencing has been changed. Accurate simulation of online dating. There we go. Someone has fallen in love. Ask for hand in marriage. 
Right now, I don't want to pay money for a for a chapel. We don't have money. We're rogues. I'm armed. There we go. And now. And we'll probably never for see each family. other again until it's time to have a kid. Oops. No, I want her to go. Yeah, she goes and home, now. and then I go to my pub. For fame and honor. And she'll keep training until she has her own pub to run. And then we just run our pubs until we can buy more buildings. Yep, marry her and she immediately becomes a criminal. That's how it works. Let's save, just in case of crash. Um, it's very, very rare that this game crashes, but it's a new update. I don't want to risk it. So again, just name this one stream so it's easy to see at a glance. Not that I have many save files to wade through. I usually delete old ones that I know I'm not going to go back to. And because it's a new version, I very quickly deleted all the previous uh, yes. For all the previous saves. I'm going to have to have her go to the doctor at some point. And now... Constitution, so that we have a long lifespan. Okay, and how much would it cost for us to build another pub? That is just under 2,000. We can get the, the money for that. Tied. What's our list of champions? No champions chosen yet, so no one's come here to gamble yet. Mostly because I don't think anyone was serving them last. Oh no, one of our, one of our prostitutes was serving them, I think. Now, apparently one thing that they fixed in this is um, they've made it so that in once the prostitutes come back to work, they don't all just hang out in front of your pub trying to get people. They'll go, they'll try and find and like spread out to different places around the town, which is good because uh, pickpockets have always, you know, spread out. Um, but uh, at the brothel, they, they don't, or the pub, which is also a brothel. So they're going to stand here for an hour, which is annoying. Until it's work time. You can see that in the top right what time of day it is. And at 8 o'clock they start, so she is serving, and then she is doing nothing, so she bugged out already. I don't want either of them serving guests, actually. I want both of them uh, doing prostitution. Because there's good money in that. But of course. Now, we are in the smallest town on this entire map, uh, up in up in Norway. armory so we do have the smallest place uh, so we're not gonna have a whole ton of patrons but I want to start small it's part of the challenge you know and whenever you hear those coins drop you know that we got some money also you can hear fart sound effects in the pub often so get used to that there's gonna be a lot of fart sounds in this stream it's highbrow I'm just going to have my wife continually train for a little bit to get her constitution up, because having a one in constitution means a very short lifespan. So I want to make sure she doesn't die early. Yep, fart jokes. Now, um, I can... Unless they got rid of it. Alright, I think you can only do it when they show up. Uh, normally, at pubs, and I think it's inns and pubs, it might only be inns, you can put upfront money to have bands come in, but you know what? I think that might just be inns, which is uh, patrons in. Okay, once we have the money, I want to buy another place. And the next place that's closest to us would be, if we go over here... You can see they're just literally walking across the North Sea. Because down here we have... Uh, what is this? This is Austria, isn't it? Yeah, this is uh, Hamburg. No, this is Germany. Wait, Hamburg? Austria or Germany? Germany, I think. Hmm. Might be misremembering. But we can get a pub up in here. And then we have, out to the east, we have, what's over here? We have Poland, we have Danzig, which is Poland, if memory serves, which it might not. And I believe we have London out west, which is, of course, England. Holy Roman Empire, yes, but 
Austria. Like, well, what time period is this? this is Renaissance? When did Holy Roman Empire stop being the Holy Roman Empire? Um, shit, I used to know this shit. 